here's something you don't always see matching up side by side. But then again, you do if you had the drag strip. You have a SRT Hellcat. Yes, the big bad Hellcat sitting next to a Chevy Chevelle or Malibu, one of the two. We're gonna find out soon. And I'm gonna look at each one, guys, and we're gonna really get into the, these two. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, first we're gonna start with this SRT. This Black Beauty, I mean, this is all black. And this thing is real nice, you know. And uh, as the days go by, now that Chrysler Dodge or Dodge is no longer building these cars, because I think they only got this year, and that's it. They're gonna start uh, discontinuing these things. I do believe if I was right, because, or I think they got, what, up to, it's 2022, so I think they got up to 2024 before they start discontinuing these cars, because the new electric car that was supposed to be coming out, the Halo, is supposed to be replacing this thing, and uh, I believe that's in 2024. So, I've always kept up with it. I just can't keep it all, you know, all information off the top of my head. But I do believe these things are going to be replaced. Now, we do see the exhaust for the duals back here. Those were always flush, but they were never really the type of exhaust with it, uh, that were connected to the pipe. So you have always had to change that out with these things. And the rear looks pretty good. I don't see too much damage. You may find on one of these things some nicks and scratches simply because they were being used. You know, people were really out. These Hellcats really made a big difference out on the street. And people who had them enjoyed them. I couldn't blame them, although I'm a Mustang guy. But, and I had a Mustang. I had a GT. And I would see these guys out there and I would try to challenge somebody with these things. And I was always confident in my Mustang, but... Those guys would never race me. Not saying that I had more power. They just never did. I never could figure that out. I guess I probably was a waste of time. <laughs> they saw a big guy in a Mustang GT. Because I had a uh, 11. And uh, no, I had a 12. A 2012 GT. And I would try to challenge these guys and these SRTs. And I never could get them to bite. Never understood that. You know, wasn't like I was packing a whole lot of power. But I only had like 400 some odd horsepowers compared to these Hellcats, you know. So you knew they would have had to jump and they would have been gone. So I guess I was just a waste of time. But anyway, <laughs> this thing has beautiful bucket seats, the SRT seats. And as you can see, they have that uh, orange or reddish type of uh, safety belt. So, you know, Dodger did that with the Dodge colors and uh, any other color if you choose to put in there. And I know that's a six speed right there with the SRT set up on the dash. And it was always intimidation with these things. If you really get a good look, you see how beautifully they engineered this. Well, this car was something else. Dodge really got off with the Challenger when they brought it back and really, when they stepped it up, man. This thing is a total beautiful car. Let's check out the passenger side real quick. Yeah, now as we take a good look at the passenger side, this thing is very clean, well kept. Like I, as I said, I don't see too many nicks, anything that would cause you not to say, I don't think I want that car. So what it boils down to is going to be the wear and tear on the engine, how many miles, what the price is for this car. And, you know, the thing about these Hellcats, man, you can't leave them out on the street because they will steal these things. Yep. These things have always been targeted by the thieves, and um, if you buy one, it's a wise investment to have a garage. All right, SRT Hellcat, y'all. Nice find. Okay, guys, now we're gonna dig into this Chevelle. I believe this is a 71, 72 model, and um, this thing is packing a 454 because it's got the 454 tag on the side, and it's a SS, you know, and I have a done this one, this beautiful blue, with white stripes on it. As we can take a good look at you, will see the 454 right there. As we go back out and we can look at this thing, it's blue with white heritage stripes and chrome all over. This thing is nice and it has the, uh, those original steel Chevy rims on there, front and back, all the way around, you know. This thing is real nice. 
And uh, let's see, let's take a good look at this rear. You know, I always saw some people with these extended ex exhausts on here for the duels. You know, if you like that style, you either had it like rectangular or you had it uh, the big circle open in, you know, the big mouse. As you can look and see, you see the Chevelle tag on there, powered by Chevrolet. And I don't see anything wrong with these tail lights back here. Everything seems to be in order. The car is a little dirty, but hey, it's a Chevelle and we love them. Let's take a look at the uh, inside on the driver's side as we go back around here and we see the glass, the glass that uh, flat, fastback type of style glass over the roof. I don't see anything wrong with the roof. As we look into the interior, you see the blue with the black and SS Malibu, for, but it's got the 454 on the inside there, all over the place, you know. You look at the headrest, same thing with the headrest, 454 Malibu SS, sport bucket seats. You got your floor shifted air, and you come around and look at the dash. I don't see anything too much wrong with the dash. As we look, and uh, 120 on the speedometer. Take a good look around, I'll let you see your air conditioning, if this thing has it. And dashboard seems pretty solid. Let's look at the passenger side. As we look into this passenger side here, this is a very nice Chevelle, guys. I mean, I, it has the cowl hood on it, and um, the rims are really nice and clean. You see tires in the back a little bit wider up front. That's how it was with these Chevelles, man. You had power to this thing, so you needed those big wide tires in the back, you know. But the passenger side is just as lovely as the driver's side. Nice seats, always nice in the Chevelle. You can't go wrong with bucket seats in the Chevelle, man. That's how it's always been since I've been seeing them. Never got to ride in too many of them, but I got to see a lot of them, you know. And as we come around to the back on this here Chevelle, you can see that it's still clean body-wise. You don't see much damage. It's a nice car to survive the times, you know. These things were beautiful cars, but they were much bigger than the, the Camaro. And I think they weighed over the Camaro just so much in pounds, like a hundred some pounds, maybe I would say over by 500, you know, maybe at the most. They weighed more than the uh, Camaros, but there was a reason why. It was a bigger car to begin with. But this is a nice find here, guys, at Gateway. The Chevelle and the SRT both sitting together. You guys enjoy this, all right? Thanks again.